Yo, this is crazy to me. Check this out, all right? So I'm sitting here minding my own business when I see a cockroach crawl by. And my natural instinct is to get up and squash it because let's face it, cockroaches are nasty, they're ugly, they're bothersome to everyone, and that's just perception, right? You see a cockroach and fucking kill it. But that's not fair. I mean, sure, they're nasty, ugly, and bothersome, but so is the Housewives of series. Arguably worse, but I don't want to kill that. It's cockroaches doing nothing other than minding his own business, just as I'm doing at the moment, which has me thinking, are cockroaches pests? Should we get rid of cockroaches? Cockroaches have a really bad reputation. In fact, they're considered public enemy number one. Take this 1975 trailer for the movie Bug, for example. With the slightest touch from a cockroach, it'll burn your skin. Of terror to push you beyond human endurance. And cockroaches can actually make people explode. <laughs> what a crazy perception. Cockroaches are considered pests because they can eat almost anything. They multiply very fast. One female can birth up to 400 offspring in one year, and they're even believed to survive nuclear bombs. But Orkin put it best. They might survive the radiation, but not the heat. So there you have it. But to get rid of all cockroaches, well, that would be ignorant because there are some 4,000 plus cockroach species in which 30 of those are believed to be pests. That's less than 1%. So get rid of an entire species for less than 1%? <laughs> what? But for today's video, we're only going to focus on the German cockroach because the German cockroach is said to be the most common cockroach found indoors. Now, these cockroaches have two huge eyes that also have 360 degree vision all around them, but their eyes don't form images. They actually detect different light intensities. So if they're ever in danger, they could easily escape to dark places. And if that's not enough, they also have very super sensitive hairs all over their body that can detect the slightest displacement of air. And there's more. They also can move at 50 times the length of their body in one second. That's equivalent to like, say you or, you or I traveling at about 200 miles per hour from just running. It's crazy. And there's even more. They have a very fast reaction time of about 45 milliseconds. To put this in perspective, you can test your reaction time at humanbenchmark.com. Now, my best is above average at 246 milliseconds, but with 20 million plus participants, the average human reaction time is about 267 milliseconds, making a cockroach's reaction time six times faster than that of a human. And there's more. A female cockroach only has to mate once in her entire life to be able to create up to eight egg sacs. And each egg sac can hold up to 50 baby cockroaches. They can regenerate up to seven limbs. They can hold their breath for hours. They can live for weeks without water and even longer without food. They can live without their head up until the point until they starve, really. And they can carry 20 times their own body weight. That's equivalent to you and I being able to lift some cars. <sighs> now, that's a lot. Furthermore, cockroaches are known to have high populations, but they're not at the top of some food chain. They're preyed on by amphibians, beetles, reptiles, wasps, and more. A high population is something that you would expect from an organism that isn't preyed on, like deer in Nara, Japan. Deers run wild in the city of Nara because their natural predators aren't welcome, including hunters. So applying the same principle to cockroaches, people have problems with cockroaches when they're introduced into human habitats because when in human habitats, cockroaches don't have many natural predators other than some spiders, but even some spiders can go months without eating. So you have 20 spiders versus 100 cockroaches you're not gonna make a big of a difference. In the human habitat, 10,000 cockroaches can be produced in a year. And at this population size, they produce asthma causing poop, and they also produce a very musty odor. And because 
taste and smell are linked together, they can actually alter the flavor of your foods, making it get nasty to you and leaving more food around for them. Nuts. Back to the food chain concept, the most effective predator to cockroaches in a human habitat, you guessed it, is actually the exterminator. But consultation alone can cost a couple hundred dollars, and the actual process of fumigation, that can be anywhere from two to six thousand dollars. And did you fumigate while there were still egg-filled sacks in the house? Well, the egg sacks are actually unfazed by pesticides, so whoops, you gotta start all over again. Okay, all right, all right. Cockroaches are pests, there's no doubting that. But I won't lie, cockroaches are kind of cool. They have a lot of abilities that remind me of some of my favorite superheroes. For example, can move 50 times his own body length in one second? That's the Flash. Can lift 20 times his own body weight? That's Superman. Can react super fast to things? Spidey sense? Can regenerate its own limbs? That's Wolverine. Well, sort of. Okay, maybe I'm presenting a stretch here, but my point is that all these cool features are packed into one organism. How did cockroaches get all these cool features? To better understand how a cockroach got all these cool features, you must first understand Darwinism, or the theory of evolution. Charles Darwin's theory of evolution proposes that all organisms come from one common ancestor that change into different types over time due to natural selection and favorable genetics. So to put that in perspective, a quick Google search tells me that a female human on average produces an offspring at the age 25. So four generations in humans terms is 100 years. Now what about a cockroach? So again, a female cockroach only needs to mate once in their entire life, right? So let's say that this female cockroach is already mated or she's currently pregnant. And so this female cockroach moves into your home in January. Chances are that one cockroach will go undetected. So one month later, you can have up to 50 cockroaches in your home by February. And the mom doesn't stop producing, so two months later in April, you could have up to 150 cockroaches living in your home. And two months later after that in July, you could have up to 3,000 cockroaches from the mother and her offspring constantly producing babies. And that's only half the year. Now, that's an extreme scenario, but my point is that three or four cockroach generations can occur in the span of a year. Which, if you apply Darwin's theory of evolution, it explains how their favorable genetics are inherited so quickly. And that gives them a very high survivability rate and makes them very adaptable as a species. Dr. Kobe Shaw did a report demonstrating their adaptive abilities. Cockroach bait is said to be glucose lace poison. And so, in the video, on the left side are cockroaches that have never been baited before, and on the right side is cockroaches that have been baited. And the jelly contains high amounts of glucose. So you would start with the cockroaches on the left side, but after a year or so or three or four generations of glucose-laced bait, your result could be the cockroaches on the right side. So much so that force feeding glucose to a cockroach, it'll reject it and spit it out. You can actually see the liquid on the side of the mouth of the cockroaches as it refuses to, uh, to ingest it. What a beautiful example of Darwin's theory of evolution. Given 300 million years of cockroach existence and their very fast generation rate, that's an expected 1 trillion generations of cockroaches to this day. And to put that on a scale to something, humans have been around for about 200 million years and with our slow generation rate, we have expected to go through about 8 million generations to this date. In theory, that is 125 times more generations that cockroaches have gone through. That is a huge number. Okay, that's cool. And yes, cockroaches are still ugly, nasty, and pests in some scenarios, but the truth is that they've earned their right to be pests. They're, they're hard to kill for a reason. We can't blame them for being evolutionary experts. Instead of demonizing them, we should be trying to learn from their resilient nature and applying it to our own benefit. And then exterminate them. 
No, I don't know. Honestly, like I'm torn because they're really cool organisms, but their, their patriotism, their right to live, the right to thrive, their right to be cockroaches is our terrorism. Okay, I was getting off on a weird tangent, but my point is that we humans are the smarter organism. In fact, scientists are already learning from cockroaches and applying it to artificial intelligence. But if we get into that right now, I'm probably going to start a whole new video. So let, let's, let's not do that. But what we can do is talk about my weird visual for a man-sized cockroach. Like, would it be cool or would it be annoying? If only there's some way that I could like... How are you doing today? Good man, how's it going? Yeah, you have seen any pester around or something like that? What's that? Any uh, bugs? Oh, man. That's right, because I've been clearing them out all day long. There's not one left. This whole beach, you see that over there? All the way down there to the boardwalk. I did. Have you ladies seen any bugs around? We've seen a lot yes. of roaches. Have you really? Roaches? Uh, I haven't really, no. Yeah. I just use my good old spray. Look what's in it kills them. Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh no, dude. Come on, man. Bro, you can't be around here. I've been clearing you guys out all day. I'm good. Yeah. I just went, man. It smells bad. Really? Oh yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. But I did just take a dump. Hey, is, you might have a little crumbs. A couple of crumbs you can spare. I got. I'm a. I'm a hungry here. You guys, you guys got, look at that, you got some taco crumbs, man. You wanna help a roach out? No? It's not going down? I mean, I'm like, well, I'm a roach. I eat crumbs. That's all, that's all it takes, it's just a little crumb. Is that not happening? Not at all? All right, uh, anything. Oh crap, the exterminator, oh crap, exterminator. What's up? There's exterminator. There's exterminator. Oh crap. Dude, dude, dude. I got him. Oh. Oh. What, you, what, is, what is this? Is this, is this fruit? Those are garlic. Garlic, huh. That looks pretty good. That looks really good, actually. What kind actually. of this custom, man? Oh, no, no. I just uh, stepped in radioactive sewage. Hey, man, what'd I say? You got to go down there. Dude, two on. blocks. I'm For the last time, I am tired of you chasing me out, running me all around town. I'm tired of you, dude. I'm tired of you, man. Somebody help my pet. I'm tired of you, man. Come on. Stop it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You leave me alone. Leave me alone. Get, you, stop it, stop following me, leave me alone. Leave me alone. You leave me alone. Stop it, leave me alone. Gosh, jeez, 
so inconsiderate. Okay, all right, all right. The truth is, I just wanted to run around town in a cockroach suit. But disregarding that, if you found anything interesting in this video, please share it with your friends and let me know what are your thoughts on cockroaches? Do you think they're cool now? Do you still think they're nasty? I am curious to know what, what you think about cockroaches. But whatever the case may be, remember to always feed your curiosity. She passes it right